Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve equations using Desmos. And we're going to use the activity that's a riddle. It says, what do you call a potato who reads the news? And in a brick and mortar classroom, you would have a partner and you and your partner would do this together. If you're doing it on your own, that's okay. You can be partner A and partner B. What we're going to do is we're going to solve each equation for X. And then in each set, we're gonna match up the answers and that will tell us what letter goes in which space. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. To solve these equations, I'm gonna show you how to use Desmos to solve them. If your algebra skills aren't quite up to what you wish they were, and you're, you find yourself struggling in geometry because of the algebra aspect, we can work through the algebra together and continue to work through that all year but I don't want that algebra to stand in your way of being successful in our course. So if you are struggling with that algebra side, let's keep practicing it, but also use Desmos to help us solve for the variables also. So in the regular Desmos, it will solve for one variable for us, but in the testing calculator mode, it, that part is, is inactive, but there's a little workaround. So what we're gonna do is using the testing calculator, if you're not sure how to get there, you just go to desmos.com and then click the graphing testing calculator. That's what you want. And I will post a link to it on OMHS also. But what we're gonna do here in for our equation is we are going to take the left side of the equation and make that equal to Y. So here for E, okay, so this will be equal to Y. And then we're gonna make the right side of our equation also equal to Y. And I'm gonna plug that into Desmos. So in the first part, I'm gonna put y equals, and I'm gonna put whatever was on the left side, negative three minus three x. Then for the second equation, I'm gonna do another y equals, and I'm gonna make that equal to the right side of the equation, negative four, two x plus seven. And now what we're gonna do is we are going, oops, plus seven, there we go. We're gonna look to see where these two equations intersect. And you may have to scroll in or out on your graph. Maybe drag it up. Where these two lines intersect will be our solution. And we're solving for X. So X equals the X coordinate of our point, negative five. See how easy that was? So we can say that X equals negative five. You are also welcome to solve this by hand, distribute and move your variables back and forth and your non-variables back and forth until you solve for X. And that's perfectly fine also. But if you're looking for a fast way to solve, a way to check, or even just a way to solve because you need some help with that algebra, Desmos is a great tool for this. Okay, so again, you make the left side of your equation equal to Y the right side of the equation equal to y, and where those two lines intersect, the x value is our solution since we want to solve for x. So x equals negative five. Let's go on to the next one here. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna change my equation to y equals the left side, eight x plus three, then make y equals the right side, eight x, plus 27. Now here's an example. No matter how much I scroll in or out, I'm noticing that these lines never intersect. And there's a reason for that. The reason actually is they have the same slope. I don't know if you learned about slope in algebra one, you should have. Um, the slope of our line here is the same. And when that happens, our lines are actually parallel. We're gonna learn more about that later in our geometry course, but if they have the same slope, the lines are parallel, which means our lines are never going to intersect. So no matter how much I scroll in or out of this thing, I'm never gonna see an intersection. So this actually has no solution. If you had been doing this with the algebra part, you may have subtracted an eight X from both sides and gotten three equals 27, and we know that three does not equal 27. So again, there would have been no solution. And now let's do this one. 
we'll make the left side two parenthesis x minus four and the right side seven minus three x. Okay, let's see where these intersect. Will they intersect right here at that point? The x coordinate is three. So here x equals three. Again, you're welcome to practice using algebra to solve these and check also. And you can even use Desmos as a way to check your answer if you wanted to. So now what I'm going to do is come over here and solve these three equations. Negative three minus six parenthesis x minus seven. And then 42 minus six x. Okay, and then we find where they intersect. We might have to zoom in on this one. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wait a second. They're not going to intersect. These are parallel lines again. So this has no solution. If we have parallel lines in our picture, no solution. Sometimes you might see that written like this also. Okay, let's do number five there. Six parenthesis one minus three X. Negative 36 minus 4x. Okay, these clearly intersect down here. Oops. Drag it. There we go. They intersect right there. You can click on it. You can zoom in if you need to. But the x coordinate there is 3. So for number 5 over here, x equals 3. And number 10, we can probably guess what the answer is, but we should just double check just in case. Five plus four parenthesis x minus one. And the right side is two x minus nine. They intersect right here. Oops, did I type something in wrong? Five plus four x minus one. 2x minus 9. Oh, there we go. Negative 5 is our x value. Okay, so now what I've done here in set one is notice that these match, right? Like E and 10 match. So in spot number 10, I'm going to put an E. A and 8 match. So in spot number 8, I'm going to write an A. And O matches. It's five, so in spot number five, I'm gonna put an O. And in our, at the very bottom where it says answer, you have all those boxes. There you go, there it is. You can just put your letters in the correct boxes until you have the entire um, puzzle filled in. Okay, keep practicing. And my question to you is, what do you call a potato? Who reads the news? Have a great day, everyone.